For most of us, mathematics is about its efficiency in solving math problems. And many of us would not associate mathematics with beauty. But in this lesson, I'm going to show you two phases of mathematics, both the efficient and the beautiful. This lesson is about alternating series, and I'm going to show you two methods, the visual beautiful method and the algebraic efficient solution. Let's say we are given this series, the sum of negative one-third raised to n, n is from zero to infinity. Let's look at some of the terms of this series. If n equals zero, negative one-third raised to zero is one. Any number raised to zero is one. If n is one, this expression becomes negative one-third raised to one, so we have minus one-third. If n is two, we have negative one-third squared, which is positive one over nine. If n is negative three, we have negative 1 over 27, and we continue until infinity. What is the value of this alternating series? We call this as alternating series because we alternate from positive to negative to positive to negative and so on. So what is the value of this series? Using visual solution, let's begin with a 1 by 1 square. The area of this green square is 1 unit. And this now represents the first term of the series, 1. Next, we need to subtract 1 third from this green square. So let's subdivide the square into three equal parts. This is 1 third, this is 1 third, and this is again another 1 third. We are going to subtract 1 third from the whole. So let's subtract this lower part. The blue parts represents 2 thirds. The lower 1 third represents this 1 third that we subtracted from the whole. So this blue part represents the first two terms of the series, and the resulting area is 1 minus 1 third. Next is we are going to add 1 third squared, or 1 over 9. So let's divide again the whole into 9 equal parts this way. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 parts. And we are going to add 1 over 9. So let's add one of these smaller squares. This is 1 over 9, which is this third term. Notice that the first three terms of the series is now represented by these blue parts. We started with one whole, we subtracted one third, and we added one third squared. Now, let's divide this small square into two equal parts and spread those parts like this. The area is still one minus one third plus one third squared. Next, let's go to the fourth term. We're going to subtract one third to the third or one over 27. We can achieve that by dividing this small square into three equal parts because this is one over nine and you divide one over nine into three parts, one part would be one over 27 or one third cube. But we are going to subtract one third cube. So let's subtract this lower part. This is now the first four terms of the series. Then the next term says we are going to add one third to the fourth. So let's divide this again into nine equal parts and let's add one third to the fourth. So this is one third to the fourth. And let's cut this again into two right triangles and spread those two triangles out like this. So the blue shaded part is now our visual representation of these first five terms of the series. One, two, three, four, five. Notice that if we continue the pattern, we'll be forming a shape that looks like this. The blue parts represent the value of our series. And what's the value of this blue area? Notice that I can divide the original blue squares into four parts. One, two, three, four. And the blue shaded region that represents the value of our series is one, two, three, three parts out of four parts or three fourths. And so the value of this alternating series is three fourths solved visually. And that's what I mean by the beauty of mathematics. You have infinite terms. And visually we can see that no matter how many terms we added to the series, the area would converge because the area would shrink until additional smaller areas added is no longer consequential. And see the beauty of mathematics. Now, how are we going to solve this more efficiently? Of course, we can use algebraic method. So using algebraic method, here is the solution. 
We can solve for the value of this series using the formula for convergent series. Here, the constant ratio is negative one-third. If you divide any consecutive terms, the ratio is always negative one-third. For example, negative one-third divided by one is negative one-third. Positive one-third squared divided by negative one-third is also negative one-third. That's the value of this r. Our a is the first term, one. So substituting those values in the formula, a is one, we copy this one minus our r is negative one-third, that is equal to one plus one-third because negative of negative becomes positive, and one plus one-third is four-thirds, and one over four-thirds is three over four. So this three over four is the same result we arrived in our previous method. This is the more efficient way of solving this problem. And this is what we normally encounter in our algebra class. So those are the two phases of math. One is the more efficient algebraic method, and the other is the more beautiful visual method. So even without numbers, you can see that mathematics exists in the real beautiful world. Thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.